Hi everyone, Thumper here. A while back I made a video talking about DCS Liberation, how to get it set up, get it running, and generally how to use it. I have since used the program a lot more, and I have a much better understanding of most of its elements. So I'd like to go back and talk about Liberation more in depth, and hopefully help anyone who may be struggling with really getting the program to work, or getting the most out of it. If you're here, there's a good chance you already know what DCS is. If you don't know what DCS is, then man, you got a long road ahead. DCS Liberation is a mod that hooks into your DCS and allows you to make pretty complex mission plans without having to mess around with the mission editor for hours at a time. Liberation is a turn-based campaign generator that allows you to set up a mission, go fly the mission, and then come back and see how what you did affects the map overall. Liberation has campaigns for every map in the game, and every map has plenty of strategic targets for you and your enemy to plan your flights around. Each campaign has a front line that moves forward or back, depending on how many losses were inflicted on either faction in any given turn. And I personally think that one of the coolest things about DCS Liberation is it features an economy system that affects either faction's ability to recoup losses over time. Seriously guys, Liberation is an awesome program, and if you haven't given it a try, it's definitely worthwhile. Okay guys, so a bit of a prerequisite to getting DCS Liberation, you're going to need a way to unzip compressed zip files. If you don't know what zip files are, they're just compressed down to make them small files for uploading and downloading. There's multiple programs that do this. The most popular ones are 7-Zip and another program called WinRAR. But I use 7-Zip, so that's what I would recommend. If you need 7-Zip, you can just come to 7zip.org and you can find the Windows version that applies to you, download it, and run the installer. So when we're ready to download Liberation, first we'll just go to whatever browser we use and we can just type in DCS Liberation. And it should bring us right here to this GitHub link. Here we can just click on this. If we scroll down, about halfway down the page here, we have our downloads. Latest releases available here. That's what we want. We're going to click on that. It'll redirect us here. So Liberation 8.1 is our most current version. And we are going to click here, the zip file, to get it downloaded. Once it has finished, I'm going to go look at it in my downloads folder. Downloads. I'm going to right click this. It is currently zipped up. We're going to unzip it. 7-zip. Extract here. Now it's been uncompressed so that we can use it. I'm going to click into it. And typically I just like to drag this onto my desktop. You can move it wherever you like. Once here, we'll click into this folder, and here we'll be able to see all of the resources that Liberation uses for its own programming. We can actually go in and modify some of this, and we will cover how to make custom factions at a later point. But for now, if we just want to open the program, we'll scroll down, and we'll find Liberation Main Executable. We are going to right-click this and hit Run as Administrator. DCS Liberation must be run as administrator. If you do not run it as administrator, the program will not work as intended. Make sure you run it as administrator. And after a brief splash screen, we will come in here and we'll see the Liberation interface. If we scroll out, we can actually see the map of the world and it'll take us to various places depending on what campaigns we choose. 
Uh, for now, the main thing you want to check once you first arrive here is go up and hit File, Preferences, and make sure that it is seeing your save game directory and your installation directory correctly. Uh, Liberation is usually pretty good about identifying these folders on its own, but, you know, results may vary, so just make sure they are checking in the correct place. At this point, congratulations, you have installed DCS Liberation. I'll be talking about how to set up missions and what kind of things you should be thinking about when setting up missions. For now, let's just assume that we know how to set up a mission, and let's demonstrate how to actually go fly it once it is set up. Alright guys, so I've got this mission set up the way I want it, and I'm ready to actually go fly it. So I'm going to come up here and hit take off. And here, it'll actually tell us, for launching the mission, we're just going to go to the Liberation Next Turn mission as you normally would in your missions, and click Start. So at this point, I'm going to pull up my DCS world and get it started up. All right, so we've loaded into DCS, and we're ready to start up our Liberation mission. So we'll come over here and hit Mission. And underneath of My Missions, we're going to have Liberation Next Turn. This is what we're going to load up anytime we start up a Liberation mission. Go ahead and double click it. As the mission starts in DCS, you'll see this screen here will change from what it currently is to this here. Waiting for mission completion. You see all zeros. This means it's actually reading what's happening in the mission and it's going to detect what's going on so that it can tally up what dies and change the map based upon it. We'll click into an observer slot for now and fly. And we can see all over the map there's all kinds of points of interest for that mission. We've got our navies out here. Enemy territory. There is a lot going on here. So I'm going to let this run for a minute and we'll see what happens once it actually starts to tally up some kills. Okay, so we finished flying our mission and we hit quit. And in this case, you know, the mission was only running for a few minutes. So two aircraft destroyed and one frontline unit was destroyed. So once our mission is done, if if we actually flew the full mission, this would be this would be crazy. These numbers would be full. They'd be much, much higher. But uh, for now, we'll just accept results. And we can see here that a couple of Su-33s got killed and a BMP-2. And we'll hit OK. And Liberation will go to generate the next turn. So now we have a whole different set of missions and we can adjust things as needed for the next turn. We're on turn two and we can purchase more aircraft as needed, purchase more ground units, whatever we need. One final note is that if you're struggling with Liberation, you're having issues with the program, the guys in the actual Liberation Discord are usually really good about answering any questions you may have. I'll be sure to link their Discord down below, but they are fantastic about helping you out as needed. Thank you for watching the video up until this point. Uh, we'll be talking about a number of other topics in coming videos, so if that's something you're interested in, then you know, like and subscribe or whatever, and I will see you there.